Okay, hi guys, welcome back. Um, just wanted to show you some funny thing. Uh, a funny thing. <clears throat> I recently purchased a bag of old uh, padlocks. I got them real cheap online uh, from a, a, a site where you can place your bids. And uh, I got this pile of seven Chinese. Um, high quality uh, padlocks for uh, the equivalent of about five dollars and they're really bad they all are when I got it in the mail it was several months ago I picked them all in about five minutes so that's a disappointment but this one and this is a uh, Primera Primera this one is particularly bad. It's really rough and it has a key. That's the bidding. The key works. That's the keyhole. Can stick it in there and turn the key and it opens. But this one is particularly bad. You don't have to use the key. You have to do it like that and turn and it opens. Fantastic. Um, Anyway, <clears throat> so that's, um, I'm not going to do any videos on these. Chinese high quality padlocks. This one, however, I went through the attic recently and uh, I found this and it has my name on it. I got two keys and this is a neighbor's. <clears throat> That's the key bidding. And this is an Abus wire lock that I used uh, to uh, lock up my bicycle when I was, I was a kid. And that's like 30 years ago. <laughs> so I haven't seen this one in 30 years. And I find it in the attic and wow, i got to try that one. And it still works. Look at that. So I brought it home. Took my um, tension wrench. Take a random pick, and bam, you're in. How about that? You can stick it in upside down. Bam, you're in. So I actually used this lock to lock up my bicycle uh, 30 years ago. And uh, who would have known how easy it was to get inside? One more time. Let's try to use a tension wrench. There we go. So that's an Abus wire lock from the 80s. And it has my name on it. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon.